Hey everybody, my name is Brother Clinton with the Catholic Student Union, and I want to take a few minutes just to dive into the scriptures for us so that we can get some of our Bible studies going on. So first things first, we're going to be looking at the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the gospel for that week is Luke chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. Before we go any further though, let's say a prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we pray that you might be with us, help us to go deeper and come to know you through your scriptures, and especially, Lord, we pray that you might enlighten our minds, strengthen our wills, and inflame our hearts with love for you through your scriptures. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm not going to actually read the scripture right now because we don't have enough time, so you do it, and I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm glad we're back. So a lot of us have probably read this passage or heard it before. We got the guy who's the Pharisee who's really prideful. We got the tax collector who's a big tax collector who's a big sinner, but like he's, you know, really coming in humility and saying, hey, I blew it. And you see who goes away justified. Jesus says that the tax collector goes away justified. But listen, here's the passage I want to zoom in on. The last part, what it happens. Jesus says, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. That is backwards. If we don't realize how wacko that sounded to people back then and should sound to us right now, then something's wrong. We need to like take a step back and re-engage this, right? Because that's what Jesus is doing. He's presenting something that's totally opposite than the world. Let me tell you somebody who embodies the world. This guy, Friedrich Nietzsche. He was a philosopher, German philosopher back in the last century. Um, God bless the guy. Don't really agree with a lot of what he said, but wow, has his ideas influenced us a lot. One of his famous quotes that a lot of, a lot of us have heard is, he says this, that which doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Well, what does that sound to me? It sounds the opposite, actually, of what Jesus is saying. Jesus is saying, hey, humble yourself and be exalted, right? Let yourself die, die to self, and then you're going to enter into the power of the resurrection. Isn't that what happened with Jesus, right? I mean, the guy died, and then after he died, what happened? He got all these crazy powers. He's flying around. He's walking through walls. There's this intense reality that Jesus is trying to communicate to us, that in letting ourselves go to die to self, we're going to rise to some new life. That's totally opposite of what Friedrich Nietzsche wanted. If you want to think about this on a human level or a kind of a pop culture level, who do you like better, Captain America or Iron Man? We can fight about this later for those comic fans out there, but here's what I'm going to propose to you. Iron Man is what Nietzsche proposes, the guy who's like, got it all, but he doesn't always do the right thing for the right reasons. Sometimes he does the right thing because other people expect him to and he doesn't want to like let him down. He's prideful. Captain America is trying to do the right thing for the right reasons, whatever other faults he might have. So that is your, th your few minutes with the word this week. I hope it's fruitful. God bless you. Rock on.